I have been making a thinking lately why there have been increase in prevalence of some epidemic diseases such as Lassa fever, cholera, monkeypox and other diseases in my state, Ebony state and other states of Nigeria. I have asked myself if there are other things we can quickly deal with apart from other measures already in place such as avoiding eating of those animals that carry the diseases, environmental and personal hygiene among other known methods of controlling these conditions. These thoughts were provoked by the frequency of the outbreak of these diseases in recent times despite measures already put in place. I ask if there are other problems we have in our state that we can stay curtail. I have also been disturbed by the untimely death experience, especially among some elderly people in our locality who die without enjoying their elderly age as was before. From my several thoughts, I brought out these five conditions, which I suspect to have contributed to increased diseases outbreak and premature deaths among people of our locality. 1. Overcrowding Carry many passengers in one seat by commercial drivers in my locality. Don't be surprised, this is overcrowding and might have contributed to increase or spread of some epidemic diseases in our locality such as Lassa fever, leprosy among others. Government can make a law on, or rules and here are my rules I think our government can try out. One. Commercial cars that used to carry five passengers should be made to start carrying only four passengers in one seat. Small buses that used to carry four passengers should start carrying only three passengers. Two, no big buses should carry three passengers in front. No small buses should carry two passengers in front. No tricycle that should carry two passengers in front. 3. No tricycle or buses and other cars should carry a passenger in the left side of the driver in front. 2. Drug abuse from improper and overdosage. Improper dosage of drugs prescribed by some patent drug dealers might have contributed to man manifestation and increase in diseases such as peptic ulcer diseases, even deaths in our locality. Recently, I witnessed a one dosage drug prescribed by a drug dealer. To my surprise, I discovered what might have caused high prevalence of peptic ulcers in our locality we experience today. How can someone combine aspirin high dose, diclofenac, ibuprofen, paracetamol, and some other anti inflammatory steroids? in one dose of drug. I think workshop or any means should be created to teach or advise some drug dealers who still depend on wrong prescription they might have learned many years ago which are badly endangering the health of our people. In my next video, I will discuss malnutrition, especially in our elderly, alcohol and smoking and their contribution in some untimely deaths among elderly people in our locality. Thank you for watching.